everyone. Welcome back to my dining room. Baby is having a nap, so we can have a chat. Today I have a bunch more empties, the mostly skincare and a couple of different perfumes. Just gonna get started right away. I went through my Mario Besco um, spray. This product like is so popular, it really surprises me. And I'd like to try the um, cucumber scent, but I have tons of the rose. I, I spray it just like ch -ch 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 all over after I get out of the shower, after I wash my face, and I just love it. I love it. I love it. Then another spray. It's actually the Sephora Mini Citrus Brush Cleaner. Natural brush cleaner derived from fresh citrus, citrus orange oils. It smells really good. It works really good. My only complaint is that the spritzer is like a bit too harsh, like it sprays a bit too much, too intently. And it's actually made by Aquarian Spirit. My next empty is from Sunday Riley. It's the titled Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. I was hugely disappointed in this. It, um, I had like, you can still see a tiny little bit in there. And it's like this slime with kind of this watery stuff. Um, it goes on like a gel, but it, it just, it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. I'm glad I bought a small size of it um, because Sephora sells it like these little sizes by the cash wrap. And I don't know why this is the thing that they sell in this kind of tra travel size because in my opinion, it was shit. Okay, next, another product I didn't like was the egg cream mask. I tried this out because it's supposed to be hydrating. It did nothing for my skin. Um, it stayed on pretty good. Um, it kind of grossed me out that it was egg yolk and I don't eat eggs, but um, yeah, hydrating and brightening. It didn't do anything for my skin. I really wanted it to do something for my skin and it did the, it, it just, it was a total bomb. Totally sucked. Okay, so then I have used up a tube of the Dermalogica Intensive Eye Repair. I really like this eye cream. This is my second time I'm going through a tube of it. I have some others I'm trying out now. Like currently I'm using the Belief um, eye, eye cream and that's like, whoa. I'm really enjoying it, but this I could see a significant difference in the uh, creases right here in your eyes. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty moisturizing, not as much as the belief, but um, I would recommend this to anyone um, that just needs to start looking after their under eye, um, maybe in your late 20s to 30s. I think it'd be good for that. Okay, then another thing um, was this uh, Avene uh, A Oxidative Antioxidant Defense Serum. Now, this wasn't bad, but these things that are um, like environmental protection type um, uh, products, it's hard to tell. It's like, well, I can't tell them. Well, it's. Um, it's hard to tell how much it's really protecting you from the environment. You know, I think that's something you can only tell over time. Um, this gave my skin a decent texture, but I don't think I would buy the full size. Like I said, it's hard to tell if it's how well it's defending you from antioxidants. You know, let's hope it is. And then I finally got through this Pureology um, hydrate air dry cream. When I got this, I was super excited because I don't like to blow dry my hair. It sounded like something that, uh, easy, no blow dry styler for dry color treated hair. So I thought, wow, this is going to hydrate my hair. It's going to make it less frizzy uh, and look a bit tidier without having to blow dry it because my hair can look kind of a mess. It was okay. Um, I wouldn't spend the money, you know, Pureology money on it. Um, it was okay. My, my hair looked a little bit less, like, 
wild, I guess, but I would never spend more money on it. I finished up the sample of the Prada Candy Gloss. I love the original Prada Candy, never spent the money on it, but I do love it. This, I wasn't so keen on. I, I used it, but it had kind of, some perfumes can smell a little bit too much like alcohol, like not straight alcohol, but some kind of alcoholic drink, and that really puts me off. So for that reason, I didn't like it. Then I finished up my sample of the Stella McCartney Pop. And this is what the what's it looks like. This is really good. I enjoyed this. It is a sweet scent, but it's not overly sweet. Uh, bright tuberose balanced with sandalwood notes. Bold, authentic, irreverent. Now you know I want to smell irreverent. But yeah, it wasn't overwhelmingly sweet. It had decent staying power. Um, I would uh, get a, like a rollerball of it. I wouldn't buy a full bottle, but I would definitely uh, be excited to get another sample or buy a rollerball of it um, in the future. First thing that I'm emptying out or decluttering is this Eco Tool sponge. It's not a bad sponge. It's just the texture you can see. I know it's gross, but it's just a little bit rougher than the real techniques when you actually touch it and you're bouncing it on your face. It's not a bad sponge. It works, but it's not better than the real techniques. And really, that's the competitor there, if you're, you know, really thinking about it. Then this Skin Perfect Primer from Dermalogica is expired. I do like it. It has sort of a tint to it, you can see. It's blurring. It has SPF of 30. It's part of the Age Smart range. Really like this. You could wear it on your own quite easily and it would just give a little bit of warmth to your skin. And it has kind of a sheen to it, but it's not overwhelming at all. Like you. It is something that kind of helps with the blurring effect, so I really liked it, but it's expired. And then also the Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer. This, unfortunately, I was trying to use this up, and, well, I mean, it just breaks me out. I used it for the first time when I was pregnant, and it broke me out, just like those little, like, kind of, you know, whiteheads that are really superficial, like that really they can come off when you wash and dry your face. I tried it for probably three or four days and every time I used it I got those little whiteheads, just one or two, but I have enough, I have other primers that don't do that so why should I do that? And it just, I wasn't impressed anyway, it didn't, wasn't especially hydrating, it didn't especially hold on to my makeup so, meh. And then the last one quick is, you know, I think everyone's had one of these, the Shiseido Facials uh, Cottons. All right. Um, you can use both sides. They're thick enough to use both sides. I don't know. People say, you can cut them in half. Why? Why cut them in half? You can just fold it and, yeah, I, I don't understand that. Just use the whole thing on your face and on your eye because if... The size of it is like my whole eye area, so why make them go longer by cutting them in half? I, I would just end up using more. I just use both sides. Um, I don't know that I'm going to splurge and buy them again anytime soon. I really like my, like the oval size ones, the Ulta ones, because I can only use like one or two of those, and they're a third of the price. And I, I think those are really soft, too. Like, yeah, it's nice to have soft ones, but mm, I'm not going to go out of my way um, to, to purchase them. I mean, they're they're a decent value. They are um, luxe. They are very soft. But, you know, I actually kind of like the bigger ones for cleaning up my whole face. Uh, the other little square ones, they're a joke. Don't even mess with those. So those are my empties. I'm still working my way through all my mascaras. Um, and I might have to like stop 
at some point and give some reviews because I have so many that I have yet to try and I'm going to use them up. I'm, I'm not going to just try them for a bit and then open the next one. I'd rather use them up and be smart about it. But I have several travel sizes that I've gotten that I am have made my way through that I might end up just doing a review. And I'm also working my way through my perfume samples. I just started another one since I finished the Stella McCartney Pop. And I will let you know how those work out for me. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.